coronavirus, designated 2019 NCOV, was identified in Wuhan, Hubei province in China in mid-December 2019, after people developed pneumonia without a clear cause, and for which existing vaccines or treatments were not effective. The virus was first detected in Wuhan city central China. It is believed to have originated from wild animals passing to humans thanks to the wildlife trade and wet markets. The virus quickly spread to other Chinese provinces in early and mid-January 2020, helped by the Chinese New Year migration. Cases started to be detected in other countries with larger trade exchanges with China, carried by international travellers. The virus has shown evidence of human-to-human -human transmission, and its transmission rate appeared to escalate in mid-January 2020, with several countries other than China reporting cases. The incubation period, the time from exposure to developing symptoms of the virus, is between 2 and 14 days, and it remains contagious during this time. Symptoms include fever, coughing and breathing difficulties, and it can be fatal. Confirmed cases have been reported by several countries across Asia, Oceania, Europe and North America. The first confirmed death from the coronavirus infection occurred on January the 9th. As of January the 27th, 2020, approximately 4,600 cases and 106 deaths have been confirmed. Wuhan was placed under quarantine on January the 23rd, in which all public transport in and out has been suspended. Thereafter, Transportation in at least 15 other cities in Hubei province has also been halted in a similar fashion. Many New Year's events were closed over fear of transmission, including the Forbidden City in Beijing, traditional temple fairs and other celebratory gatherings. Hong Kong also raised their infectious disease response level to the highest level and declared an emergency, closed its schools until mid-February and cancelled its New Year's celebrations. A number of countries have put out travel advisories, warning against travel to Wuhan and Hubei province. Travellers who have visited mainland China have been requested to monitor their health for at least two weeks and contact their healthcare provider to report any symptoms of the virus. Anyone who suspects themselves to carry the virus are advised to wear a protective mask and seek medical advice by calling a doctor rather than directly visiting the clinic in person. The travel sector has been providing refunds and no-fee cancellations for reservations in China or by people from China. Airports and train stations have implemented temperature checks health declarations and information signage in an attempt to identify carriers of the virus. Chinese scientists were able to isolate a strain of the new coronavirus quickly, with the genetic sequence being made available for laboratories across the world to independently develop PCR tests that can confirm infection in a person. Of the first 41 people confirmed by real-time RT-PCR and next-generation sequencing to have been infected, two-thirds were found to have a link with the Huanan Seafood Wholesale Market, which also sold live animals before the 2019-20 outbreak. A study from 2015 published in Nature Medicine warned about potential risk of SARS-CoV re-emergence from viruses circulating in Chinese bat populations. Whether this virus is of the same severity and lethality as SARS is still unclear. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. See you next time.